amid Cyclone Tate. The barge operated by the Indian Oil and Natural Gas Corporation was carrying a crew of just over 250 people. So far, 186 have been rescued as the search continues for the remaining crew members. Now, since Monday, the Indian Navy and Coast Guard have mounted extensive operations in the Arabian Sea to ensure the safety of personnel on all vessels located in the path of the cyclone. I'm Chris Collins of the 1290 and 95.7 WHIO Radio Newsroom. Chris, thank you. Now let's take a look at the latest numbers from Wall Street this noon hour. Not doing well at all. Down more than 334 points at 33725 And at last check, the price of crude oil is down $3.08 to sixty-two forty-one a barrel. Those numbers are down. These numbers are up. We are warm near 80 degrees. Just checking Trotwood is at 80 degrees right now. Uh, but we've also got the clouds that are moving in. So far, we're on the uh, westerly side or the dirty side of this area of high pressure. And what that means is high pressure, we got the winds that spin clockwise. And so with the high pressure being here, the winds are coming in out of the south. And so here in the middle part of the country, down towards uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana, coast of Louisiana, getting flooding. Uh, but we got all the moisture and the cloud cover there. We're in the uh, periphery of that, so we can see the cloud cover coming in and maybe an isolated shower, a thunderstorm, as we go into the afternoon. Some showers just to the west of us uh, in the Indianapolis area, so you see the cloud cover there just on the other side of the Miami Valley with a few showers around. Already we're seeing the partly cloudy skies with some of the clouds starting to congeal. Just looked outside the weather window here in downtown Dayton. It's already mostly cloudy sky with cl mostly cloudy skies with the cumulus congestus clouds out there. 79 degrees here in Dayton, but 81 up in the Bay uh, 77 in New Lebanon, Troy coming in at uh, 77. And then I don't think this is right. I think Urbana is at 80 or either the center's out in the sun or something, but I don't think it's 90 in Urbana. Uh, 80 degrees in Centerville, Eaton coming in right around 77. Up towards uh, uh, Salina, 81 degrees. That's looking pretty good. 76 in Springboro as well as 79 in Springfield. We've got winds coming in out of the south at about 10 to 20 to 25 miles an hour. So a nice warm breeze here uh, for the afternoon. And the sun is starting to hide and play peekaboo around the clouds, so it's not going to be over excessively hot. Temperatures get right around 80 degrees, mostly cloudy skies with a little breeze. And there could be a pop-up shower or an isolated thunderstorm at times, so it's a pretty nice day to spend it outdoors. Just got to be careful of the tree pollen. That's on the high side. Grass is low. Mold is on the moderate side. UV levels this week still a seven. That's on the high side because we got all the sunshine around. All right, so how long do these temperatures last and how warm do we get? Look at that. Our average for this time of year is 75. We get all the way up to 89 on Sunday. Flirt with 90 degrees. Don't know if we we'll actually get it or not, but we'll flirt with it. Even in the 80s to the early part of next week, and then we'll fall back into the upper 70s by late next week and into the weekend, which by that time will be average for this time of year. So predominantly cloudy skies. This signifies this afternoon a pop-up shower, an isolated thunderstorm, not a washout. Once the sun goes down, we lose the instability, and we're partly cloudy into the overnight hours. Tomorrow, again, an isolated shower, a pop-up thunderstorm, probably less so than today. And then we get the same uh, situation as we get into Friday, although Friday I think will probably be a little drier uh, for the afternoon, so partly to mostly sunny. So 80 degrees this afternoon, partly cloudy, isolated pop-up shower. Humidity is going to stay low over the next couple of days, so it's not going to be overarchingly muggy. 61 overnight tonight, nice and warm but quiet. Look at that five-day forecast. Probably our best chance is today and Sunday of seeing showers and thunderstorms. Overnight lows are going to be in the 60s. This is a nice summer-like pattern, and I enjoy it, Letitia. Love it, love it. Thank <laughs> you. How much money would it take for you to stop working from home and go back into the office? You'll be surprised at how many people said they wouldn't do it even for $30,000. Now let's local steals and deals. Lisa Robertson is here with her latest find. 